In this video, we're going to look at angles in a triangle. The three angles in a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. So if you've got a triangle, the angles A, the angle B, and the angle C will always add up to 180 degrees. So let's have a look at some typical questions. So here we've got a question that says, find the size of the missing angle X. So we've got a triangle, a scalene triangle, and we've got three angles. One of them's 29 degrees, one of them's 118 degrees, and one of them's X. And these three angles will add together to be 180. If we want to find this missing one, what we're going to do is we're going to add these two angles we've been given to see what that is, and then we'll take that away from 180 to see what's left, and that will be whatever X is. So let's add these two angles together. So 118 plus 29. And when we do that, we get 8 plus 9 is 17, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 4 and 1. So when you add these two angles together, we get 147 degrees. We're now going to take that away from 180 to see what's left for x. So we're going to do 180, subtract 147. And when we do that, we're going to get, carry the 1, 3, 3, 0. So x is equal to 33 degrees. And you can check it. If you add these three angles, you will get 180. And that's it. So that's how you find the missing angle in that triangle. Next question. Now, this question, um, we have got um, 18 degrees, x, and we've got the symbol for a right angle. Whenever you've got this uh, little box, this little line, straight line, another line, perpendicular to each other, it's, it shows it's a 90 degree angle. So what I'd recommend is if you ever see a little um, symbol like this in a triangle, write 90 beside it straight away. That means they're 90 degrees. That means that you're showing straight away that you know that's a 90 degree angle. And I'll help you get the answer easily. So these three angles will add together to be 180 degrees. So if I want to find the missing one, I'm going to add the two angles we've been given and take that away from 180. So we're going to do 90 plus 18. And when we do 90 plus 18, we're going to get 108 degrees. And then we're going to take that away from 180 to see what's left for x. So when we take that away from 180, we're going to get that's equal to 72. So this missing angle x is equal to 72 degrees. And again, we can check it. 90 plus 118, uh, sorry, 90 plus 18 is 108 plus 72 is 180. So the three angles added together to be 180 degrees. Cool. Okay, in this question, it says find the size of the missing angle X. So here we've got an isosceles triangle. We've got X at the top. We've got the two little lines, which shows it's an isosceles triangle. And we've got the 75 degree angle here. Now, isosceles triangles have two equal sides. So this side is equal to this side here. This length here is equal to this length here. But also, the angles, this angle will be the same as this angle here. So I'm going to write in my 75 degree angle here. Okay, so an isosceles triangle will always have a pair of equal angles. And that will be here and here in this triangle. So what we're going to do is we're going to add together the two angles we've been given, or the two angles we know. We're going to add together the 75 and the 75. Well, that's 150 degrees. And we'll take that away from 180 to see what's left. So 180, take away 150, leaves me 30 degrees. So the angle at the top here, x, will equal 30 degrees. And again, we can check it. 75 plus 75 is 150, plus 30 will be 180. That's right. Okay, and our last example. This good example says, find the size of the missing angle X. So again, it's another isosceles triangle, but this time we've been given the angle here at the top, okay? Now what I know is that the two angles here and here will be the same, the X and the other one are the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take 32 away from 180. When I take 32 away from 180, that'll tell me how many degrees are left for both of these two angles here. But because they're the same values each other, I can then half that answer and that'll tell me whatever X is, okay? So I'm gonna do 180, and I'm going to take away 32. So when I do that, 0 take away 2, I can't do, so I'm going to borrow, so cross 7 and 1. 10 take away 2 is 8. 7 take away 4, uh, 7 take away 3 is 4, and 1 take away 0 is 1. So that means that I've got 148 degrees, and that'll be for this angle and this angle altogether. But because they're the same, I can then half 148 and see what I get. So 148 divided by 2 will be equal to 74 degrees. So what that means is that this x is equal to 74 degrees. And again, we can check it if this is 74 degrees. And if this is 74 degrees, we can add them together. That'll be 148 plus my 32 gives me 180. And that's it.